Use of data tumor map is now wide and very common, both in the newly diagnosed setting as well as in relapse setting. In a newly diagnosed setting, using data tumor map is for a limited duration of time, and often patients will respond to this treatment. So we don't see any refractoriness to data tumor map. But when we use data tumor map in the relapse setting, and in the UK, we use it in combination with Valcade and Dexamethasone for first relapse patients. We treat our patients till progression. This would ensure that the patients become CD38 refractory by second relapse. So this is a challenging group of patients for us to manage if they are refractory to daratum map and if they were already refractory to lenalidomide, then it becomes uh, difficult to manage these patients. The only group of treatments that are uh, looking very promising is BCMA targeted therapy and palantamab, uh, teclistamab, and BCMA CAR T cells are all licensed in the setting, but they're not widely available, certainly in Europe as yet. We could consider belantamab-based therapy, and there's a lot of data of belantamab monotherapy in the setting, particularly if patients have had uh, four prior lines of treatment. Increasingly, we see BCMA bispecific antibodies, of which there are many, but teclistamab is the first one that is licensed, will be extremely useful uh, in the setting. The other targets, such as GPRC5D and FCRH5, which are being explored in clinical trials, are also extremely exciting for this group of patients. But it defines a group of patients uh, who are very uh, challenging to treat uh, in clinical practice.